Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today I want to give you guys um, a pretty well-played Gallowix game. And the reason I try to make this kind of video is because rarely do I end up getting the most out of a hero like Gallowix. It's almost always a hero where you kind of need to play a few more actions than a turn will allow. At least in my experience, I am not the fastest Battlegrounds player. Uh, I'm not too slow, but in some cases, especially with like crazy economy cards like multiple golden hoggers, really you have an infinite turn just based on how many clicks you, you can put into it. That's why people are still using like the, the firewall on Windows disconnect and reconnect to Battle.net instantly to get like double the turn. Stupid crap like that. It's unfortunate that's still happening, but you know what? Even without that, even while just playing Gallowix, as you're about to see in this game, turns can be pretty difficult, and I wanted to show you guys an instance where I was quite happy with my APM, at least this time. Take a look. Let the tide rise! In my waters. How do they even fix this game at this point? What, Battlegrounds? They don't have to fix anything, just give us the fucking buddies back so we can have fun. Let the storm begin. I I don't consider Battlegrounds a competitive game mode. It's usually pretty fun. Right now, the fun level is pretty weak. With buddies, I mean, it was about as unbalanced, so it's, it's not a balanced thing. It's just, it's just more fun to fucking play. So. I have seven gold, and that costs three. Alright. Buddies are a paid feature, sorry. Okay, I'll pay. Take my money. Actually, I think um, I think the lag is a bit better in the last few days. I think, I think they may have actually fixed a few things. Battlegrounds lag is not so bad. It's not as bad as like when Nagas came out, at least. Bunnies are bad for competitive battlegrounds because they take away player agency and lower the skill ceiling. What the fuck are competitive battlegrounds? What is that? There's literal websites that tell you the best way to play every turn. It's like, okay, what are my hero options? Oh, the Lich King. Okay. What should I play? Pirates. Oh, okay. When should I, like, level? Oh, okay. Okay, if I don't get pirates, what should I get? Oh, murlocs? Oh, okay. What kind of build should I get playing murlocs? Oh, this one? And this one? Oh, okay. <laughs> the fun is the point! This is fun to play Battlegrounds most of the time. The, the competitive aspect has been, like, lukewarm at best. Let's go for double spawn, I guess. There's a guide for every game? Bro, that ain't a guide. That is, that is not a guide. <laughs> that is how... <laughs> that is how to play optimally. That is that is something that, like, probably requires, like, hundreds if not thousands of hours within a patch for you to overcome from personal experience. It's just not competitive because there's an AI that can tell you the best move every time. Well, in chess, you need it to be competitive so you can eventually make like a movie about some guy being good at it, which will be watched by the masses and it will increase interest. The whole point of chess is to get to the movie. That's the end game. You hit the chess movie, that's the win. Okay, the players that like win, nah, they don't really win, no one really cares. But you land like the Netflix deal, BAM! That's fucking, that's fucking first place. World, world first place.
Hearthstone win condition. The Hearthstone win condition is to be a streamer and just play Battlegrounds all day, and then you just, like, make a living out of it, I guess, or something. Sometimes you play PoE. Is that little Diablo immortal? No, it is not that. Is TFT competitive? I don't know, I haven't played, I haven't played TFT in a while. Maybe, maybe it is, yeah. Um, one thing that Riot is actually pretty good at is making their games competitive. They're pretty good at that. It's hard, it's hard to doubt that. Um, I think I think TFT was launched strategically, but it was a little bit underbaked. It was really close to just like taking it at the start, I think. But I think the game just launched with a lot of balance problems, and Battlegrounds came in and I think took a large chunk of the auto battler. TFT was set to be like the first major auto battler to market after auto chess's, you know, explosion in popularity. So they did a really good job getting it out quick. Again, no doubting that. But I think, I really think if they took like another week or something and just, you know, did a bit more testing on the balance, I think they could have closed up a much larger audience. I mean, at the time, a whole bunch of people were hyping the game because it was a good game. And, you know, people who stream and make YouTube videos, you know, they just kept doing that because there were eyes on the game. Impressive. Give me a sec. Let's go for that. of the battleground. Fine, let's go for that. But the facts are that the first major tournament was a Twitch Rivals tournament that I was part of. Uh, I hadn't even played the game very much leading up to that. Uh, I just looked up the best build and forced it literally every time. And I made it I made it to like top uh i got like fourth but i won like the second most money because of how like first place and shit worked basically i almost won the thing there was like a hundred people in the tournament including people that had at that point been playing for like 17 hours every day since the game was released do you know my secret i looked up the top build and mercilessly forced it every game that was my secret I just I just played ninjas every game. Yes, that's correct. So, you know, if if they just took a little bit more time to prevent that from happening, I think I think they could have done much better with the game in the long term. But Battlegrounds ended up being really good and Battlegrounds came in before they solved those balance problems. So, uh, I don't know. Well, yeah, I don't know what it's like these days to tell you the truth, so I don't know. It, it might be in good shape. I don't know. Victory was yours from the start. Holy fuck. Let's go, dude. We have max, we don't have max. Alright. I... Oh, man. Do I drop that shit? I guess maybe I do. 
Oh, wow, that's really good, too. Yeah, I guess, I guess we're just done with that, then. Remember Underlords? Yeah, Underlords is pretty good. Uh, I actually had a bunch of people in my sub chat play it, and they said it got real bad when they added like the like the hero units or whatever. Apparently, that was not not a good thing for them to add to the game. But when they added that, I had basically stopped playing already. So, well, that sucks. Nineteen. All right, time to level. Thank you. Yours to command. Yours to command. These are friends, not fools. A meager fee. I suppose mortals must start small. Greedy, I think it's fine. Ramafin, no, we need the stats badly right now. I can't really sell two, I can't use the cat. Your power rocks the sea. <laughs> okay. That's a good thing. Four gold. Looks good. The odds are in my favor. These are friends, not food. I shall 
put them on ice. Okay. Your presence is mighty. Ah, the fucking poisons. You fucking serious? This guy's beat me like three times this game. Every single time I was favored. Was that enough of a challenge for you? I'm keeping it. Into the abyss it goes. Here is your reward. I'll clean you up a meager fee for me, as all will return to the sea. Fine, I guess I won't keep it. As all will return to the sea. Restart the game now? No, thank you. Microsoft fix Blizzard. What is there to fix? I think Blizzard will make better games if they had a longer horizon on their profits. Yeah, I guess there's some chance that Microsoft as a company behaves that way. So, I guess in some regards, yeah, maybe. I know, chat. Fucking relax. I know. and stuff in first. I have like cleave problems if I do that. I don't think this is better, but whatever. It's about the same.
poison though. But, all right. So much damage. Though. Imagine getting hit for 36 on a Murloc build. Jeez, uh, right. uh, it is really hard to actually break that board. Oh, broke it. Done. Did I say it was hard? That Just kidding. Will make a big splash. Kim. Make good use of this minion. Make good use of this minion. A wise purchase. Mm. A blessed three before you. Into the abyss it goes. Here is your reward. Freeze for what? Zap. Nazoth is always going to be, always, but usually, almost always going to be weak to Zap. Like I said, we really, we really needed that zap, guys. We re if we didn't have the zap, he would have had like 0.01% chance to win. All right. Yeah, he almost had me, man. I had to outplay the outplay. You wanted to see that die. <laughs>